Let's take up some more uh, journal entries in dissolution of partnership before we proceed to a question. Uh, so in my earlier uh, two sessions, we have already seen uh, the journal entries pertaining to transfer of assets, uh, realization of assets and liabilities and uh, treatment of uh, realization expenses, right? Now let's look at some other uh, accounting treatments. Whatever is the profit or loss on realization, <clears throat> if there is a profit on realization, it is a realization account debit to all partners capital account. This is to be done in the profit sharing ratio, right? And if there is a loss on realization, this is all partners capital account debit to realization account. Now the next thing, if there is any uh, reserves or accumulated profits or deferred expenses given in the balance sheet, in that case transfer of all reserves and accumulated profits and deferred expenses. All these should be credited directly to the capital accounts of the partners in their profit sharing ratio. The journal entry here is reserves or accumulated profits or deferred expenses, whatever it is, to all partners capital account, again in the profit sharing ratio, right? This is uh, in case of accumulated profits. If there is an accumulated loss, If there is an accumulated loss in that case, it will be like this, all partners capital account debit to accumulated losses account and to deferred expenses account. All these will be done in their distributed in their profit sharing ratio. Now the next thing is payment of loans to partners. Now there can be two two things. One is a loan which is taken from a third party and one is a loan which is taken from a partner right now the first thing in this is interest on loan This will be debited to realization account and credited to partner's capital account. So here the entry is realization account debit to partner's loan account. Second thing is <clears throat> loans given by partners 
shall be paid along with interest before the amount before the uh, <clears throat> paid along with interest uh, so here I'll write partners loan account debit to cash or bank account being loan of the partner paid back next one is uh, finally <clears throat> we have to settle the partner's capital account settlement of partner's capital account now settlement of partner's capital account there can be two things either the partner has to be paid cash or the partner has to bring in cash right so supposing the partner has to bring in some cash then it will be cash or bank account debit to partner's capital account right here this is the case being the amount brought in by the partner right and uh, if it is this is the I mean in this case what we have written here uh, if there is a debit balance if there is a debit balance in the partner's capital account that means he has to bring in necessary amount in cash right now the next uh, alternative is when the company has to pay the cash right so uh, that is the next one the journal entry will be like this partners capital account debit to cash or bank account to cash or bank account now in this case it's like uh, if there is a credit balance in a partner's capital account then then he will be paid that amount by passing this entry which I have put here right so this is basically being the amount paid to partners right so these are uh, some of the other journal entries uh, that we have to do for uh, realization account in fact these journal entries they are not coming in uh, realization account they are basically for uh, to be transferred to the partners capital account so now we have looked at uh, all the journal entries pertaining to dissolution of partnership now we can take up a small question on uh, realization account on how to prepare the realization account I'll just take up a small question in which let's write the journal entries supposing we have a question like this a 
as the journal entries for the following. First is Realization expenses amounted to rupees fifteen thousand. Then we have furniture worth rupees one lakh realized seventy five thousand, right? And then an unrecorded asset realized rupees twenty thousand creditors were paid rupees fifty thousand and profit on realization of rupees twenty thousand to be distributed between A and B equally, right? Okay, for this we will make the journal entries. The first one you see realization expenses amounted to rupees 15,000. Now here it is realization account debit to bank account the amount is 15,000 so here this is 15,000 and the next one is furniture worth rupees 1 lakh realized 75,000 So this is basically an asset, furniture is an asset, so we will write bank account debit to realization account. Now here you see there are two assets basically, one is I am saying furniture worth rupees 1 lakh realized this much and an unrecorded asset realized 20,000. So for both of them we can add this amount 75 and 20 because both are assets and we can put it here 95,000 like this. Right, and then we have an uh, creditors were paid rupees fifty thousand. Now, creditors were paid rupees fifty thousand. That is the entry for that is settlement of liability, realization account debit to bank account. That is fifty thousand. Right, and then finally we are saying profit on realization rupees twenty thousand to be distributed between A and B equally. So profit, if there is a profit on realization, it is realization account debit to A's capital account to B's capital account, right? So here the profit they have given is uh, 20,000. So that means equally you have to distribute. So this is 10,000 and this is 10,000. This is the profit on realization being distributed. Right. So this was a small uh, question in which I took just four journal entries. In our next class, we'll look at the journal entries pertaining to goodwill and we will take up a comprehensive question on dissolution of partnership. With that, I come to the end of this session. Bye.